Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing McFarlane, My Hero Academia, Thor Million. And yes, this is the figure I got for Ross, Dress for Less, for only 10 bucks when this was an $18 figure to $20 figure. So yeah, I'm so glad to have this for my collection. He looks pretty good. He's got 1000 on his uniform, which is kind of cool. And his name is right here. If you want to read it, My Hero Academia. McFarlane toys and here he has has them in his ready to go punch some villains mode That is just cool And he is 17 inches tall so It's pretty cool He can do punch He can go give you a punch and be like take this villain. Oh, yeah, and this oh, yeah the mask does not come off on my copy because it's not like the box, the mask can come off. So if they make a figure where the mask can come off and not without breaking it, I might just get it. But for now, I'm happy with this figure. He's really well articulated. He's got some tight ball joints, so I'm not going to bother bending his knees because they're so tight on my copy and I'm afraid I'm going to break this thing. But he can kick forward that far, move the cake, kick sideways, but not good with his standing up poses. You can get him in some standing poses if you can get him to stand up. And there he's all stand up. He does come with the traditional McFarlane My Hair Academia figure stand, which they include with every figure they make. So it's good they're giving us a way to hold them up on the shelf. Why not? There I say, why not? But now we're going to get down to some comparisons. Yes. Here is the McFarlane 17 inch figure next to the McFarlane All Might, which I have a custom cape on him. That's just like his old suit. Couldn't help but duplicate that. Another McFarlane figure of the same scale set. Tomaro Shigaraki. Why not? He's a bad guy. McFarlane Uraraka. Another member of Class 1A. I do have Midori in this size, but I lost his head and went off somewhere, and I have no idea where it disappeared to. So it might be a while before I can show that off until I find the head. Here we got Ida, a.k.a. Ingenium. Todoroki. Why not? Red Riot. And some loyal subjects figures. Here is Sue, a.k.a. Asui, if you want to be specific about all the names for her. Loyal subjects, Todoroki. Loyal subjects, Mini Might or All Might. I just call him Mini Might because he's so small. And non-masked Uraraka. Why not? Is a McFarlane My Hero Academia action figure worth adding? If you watch the My Hero Academia series like I do, it's a superhero anime where every person in the world has superpowers. That's what originally sold My Hero Academia for me for collecting. Because they're cool superheroes and have cool superpowers, man. But Vermillion is definitely one of my personal favorites. But Midoriya is my number one favorite superhero from the anime. Why not? Dare I say why not? And this looks pretty 
gorgeous, if I do say so myself. Do I highly recommend this? Yes. If you can get this for a good price, pick him up. He is worth the money. And I'm so glad to have him for my collection. And that's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. Oh, wait, I forgot to tell you what his superpower is before I move on and rock on and rock out. His quirk, he could phase through solid objects. That is just cool. Shame the action figure can't do that, or at least have a wall you could have around him so you can make it seem like he's going through the wall. But otherwise, a good-looking action figure, really well-sculpted, really well-painted. I love this action figure. And I'm definitely keeping this in my collection for a very long time. And now this is Eddie Hill. Moving on, and rock on and rock out YouTube land.